What's up, Sunflower our family? First of all, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I am bringing you a nice spring-inspired water wave tutorial in collaboration with Ashy Mary. Is it Ash Mary? Ashy Mary, okay. <laughs> First of all, y'all know I love their packaging for that Tiffany Blue. This company is always known for sending me a ton of gifts. Today is no different, okay? Every day is Valentine's Day when you purchase from this brand, of course. They did also go ahead and send me over a gold necklace, which I will be layering up with some of my other gold jewelry. I have not reached the point where I own like a bunch of gold necklaces yet. I don't know, am I late? I hit 30, I think it's time for real jewelry. <laughs> anyway, I did also get a detangler brush, some lashes, a edge band, two of them actually. Um, Y'all see, we got an edge brush, we also got eyebrow razor, wig cap. Y'all, I cannot make this up. They even gave me a cute little satin robe. Listen, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot going on. And of course, the unit. Now, I was nervous because when they told me they were sending me the 360 water wave unit, I was like, is this gonna be pre-plucked, pre-bleached, or am I gonna have to get to it, okay? Y'all, look at the texture. Not only did it come pre-plugs, pre-bleached, it also looked like they pre-set the style as well, just the same as I typically have to do. So y'all know sometimes you get curly hair and you have to get into it. You have to wash it, allow it to air dry, that whole thing. Y'all, they have us covered. And you guys can see they do have these little tabs that you pull on, which snug fits, okay, the very back nape area because this is a 360 wig cap. So it's going to fit really, really tight, really, really snug. And you should be able to part pretty much anywhere across the ear to ear going all the way to the back of your head, okay? So I'm excited about that. Y'all know I love water wave units. It's a great excuse to put on a bucket hat and go. Now, anytime I'm installing a unit, typically I wanna have my hair braided. If you guys need a tutorial or any advice on how to prep your hair, for styles like this, you know, weaves, wigs, all that, definitely go through the playlist on my uh, channel. Yeah, just type in Forever Chrissy Braid Down. <laughs> so once I got the wig on my head, y'all can see right away I start smiling. And y'all know if I do not have that look in my eye, baby, it is not real, okay? Sometimes it takes a little process to get there, but they did not disappoint. I love the way that curly hair looks, especially on the lace front, when you really have it nicely tweezed and bleached out. And let's also mention, this did come pre-cut, okay? So pre-everything right now is a huge trend. Because this is a 360, I definitely wanted to see what it looked like up. I still have not found the golden ticket for a unit that actually creates like a natural, a really flat laying like nape of the area, but I wanna show you what they did instead. So instead of you having all of this bulk at the nape of your neck, they've made it to where the ear tabs are actually able to just nicely be pulled, okay? They are clear little straps. You tug on them on each side, snatch it up, hide that little string, and you get a super close nape of the neck. And because this is curly hair, it's not gonna have to give the illusion of being super sleek and flat to your head it's not even gonna matter girl because it's gonna look like it's growing out of your scalp okay <laughs> and so I did go in with some of that pump it up just to of course lay down the wig this is actually a really really nice unit in the event that you guys decided girl I want to glue this baby down it can absolutely be worn glueless and y'all can see I'm doing that in this case I'm just using hairspray to tack it down you could absolutely use like um is it like the wig tape I'm still having trouble removing wig tape. So y'all let me know if you have like a tip or a trick to get rid of it. I don't know if I just need alcohol. Is there like a specific remover? But I really want to get into the wig tapes just because I am the girl that wants to be able to put the wig on and take it off. Okay. The hairspray allows me to do that, but sometimes it gives like a little bit of a shine to it. So y'all let me know. Okay, let's talk about it in the comments. Let me know. Have y'all used the wig tape? If you have, what's your experience? And uh, yeah, let me know because I want to use it on the flaps. That way I don't have to do all this like laying down and you know the whole shebang. So of course, everybody asks me every time they see this blow dryer, what blow dryer is that? I'm assuming it's not because you guys actually need a blow dryer. I think it's the aesthetics <laughs> because it's not really often that you see a color, like a solid nude color blow dryer. So I feel that, but it's a pattern beauty one and it has been my go-to 
since they sent it to me. So I am so grateful. And y'all, the texture of this hair, when I tell you baby soft, I don't know if it was just the hair and also whatever conditioner they use, but when I tell you this felt so smooth, there were no tangles, it was not shedding, okay? Which is usually a common thing with curly hair. Obviously, they did go ahead and pretty much prep it for me. I did go ahead and just stuff this baby up into a bun y'all I cut the part out because it just kind of got crazy I had to like bend over stand up put it in a bun <laughs> and of course I personally would not wear my hair up in a bun like this but if you are somebody that likes to wear like head wraps headbands you want to be able to just throw something on with a hat or not okay and you legit want to wear that ponytail style you absolutely could for me i'm more of a half up half down girl which is why you guys will see that in just a bit but i did just want to take a second to show y'all the parting which you kind of got to look at and of course i'm going through with some of my cream of nature mousse now fun fact I've been using this Cream of Nature uh, mousse bottle for probably about a year now, but I've been refilling it with, I believe, the Nairobi. Is it Nairobi? Actually, I think it's the Bronner Brothers foam mousse. So anyway, use whatever mousse you feel comfortable with. I also have been really liking the uh, Pattern Beauty mousse as well. It can be very thick, which is nice for natural hair if you're trying to do a wash and go. Or in this case, because this is natural hair, right? Natural curly hair. I would probably take a little water in a spray bottle, spray it all over and mix it with the mousse as well. That way it's not overly crispity, crackety, crunchy. I've been loving saying that lately. <laughs> but yeah, you want to keep everything nice and soft. I almost felt bad for disrupting the curl pattern, putting it up in a ponytail because I'm like, they had it preset so nicely without any product, any buildup super pretty but y'all can see just how nice and late this is when i tell y'all this literally took me 20 minutes to just throw on tack down the front of it and style it the way i wanted it to y'all i cannot go wrong with this and i decided not to do a part it's something about a partless curly hair that makes it feel more believable just to me obviously i could have added in the baby hair and just done the full thing but i know okay i am aware of my audience i know y'all don't care for the baby hair and in this case i didn't either okay let me find out i'm growing up <laughs> And then next week, I'm going to have baby hair. Y'all, I'm dead. Anyway, <laughs> once I got the hair pretty much situated the way I wanted to, I decided I was not going to diffuse the curls. I wanted to allow them to air dry. I actually was going to be going to get some dinner with some of my friends. Y'all, don't you just love girl time? Okay, get dressed up. Take yourself on a date if you have to. I am the queen of taking myself on the date. More recently, I took myself on a movie date to see the color purple. Have y'all seen that yet? Okay, because... I don't really know what to rate it. I almost prefer the other version. This one was definitely more lightweight, but that's just unpopular opinion, okay? Anyway, y'all did an extremely great job on this unit, okay? Ash, Mary, y'all, 10 out of 10, I recommend. And obviously, I am gonna give you a little bit more of a close-up on the hairline, just so y'all can really see what we are getting into. But if you ask me, this should probably be your go-to curly hair. It was not overly full. It was the perfect length. If I'm not mistaken, this is a 26 inch, super long. I'm 5'2", so I know my sisters are probably looking at this and clocking the wig. Girl, send it to me. <laughs> By the way, I do actually have probably over like 40 or 50 wigs, so I'm contemplating the wig sale, y'all. I was supposed to do this last year, but I decided not to because I'm just like, do I want to promote? I, I don't know. What do I want to do? So y'all let me know, okay? If y'all would love to do a giveaway with this unit with Ash and Mary, okay, let me know down in the comments so I can let the company know. Hey, girl, everybody's loving this. Let's see if we can get a giveaway going, maybe on Instagram or TikTok. Y'all know if the company at this point is on my channel, it's because I love and trust them. I've been working with them for years at this point, so I already know what to expect with their units. Typically, it is going to last. They do a really, really great job of pre-plucking and pre-bleaching the knots. So, I mean, honestly, I don't really have too many complaints at this point. The only thing that I will say is that the around the ear area got a little bit strange, but y'all know how to just literally cut off that extra lace. Make sure you do not cut the actual cap with the adjustment, okay? I decided to pull this back into a nice, cute little half up, half down with a little clip 
tip I found at like Target or something. <laughs> I have like a set of three. There's like a small, medium, large. I use the small one just to clip the hair back. I've even worn my natural hair in this exact style. Obviously, my natural hair is not this long. Stop clocking me, okay? <laughs> but yes, I've been in love with it. And I pulled out my little antennas, okay? AKA my little edges, I don't know. <laughs> just for a little bit of extra something, something. A little more texture. Y'all, this is super cute. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm ready to go, okay? <laughs> I'm definitely going to take some pictures. I will catch you guys in my very next video. I love y'all so much. Stay pretty. And of course, okay, let's get into it. Y'all know I love y'all. You already know. And I know there's so many new people here. Welcome. Welcome to Sunflower Family. I love y'all. Bye.